Hello and welcome to the Lucion video tutorial series. In this video we'll go over the basics of setting up cabinets. Now the first thing we want you to understand is that a file center cabinet behind the scenes is just regular Windows folders. File Center doesn't use a database. It doesn't collect your files into any kind of a special repository. It just uses regular Windows folders. In fact, we could say that File Center is a different way of viewing regular Windows directories that are already on your machine. Let's show you what we mean by that. Now, I'm in a client's cabinet here in File Center, but what I want you to notice is down in the lower left hand corner. You can see that this cabinet has a regular Windows directory associated to it. See My Cabinets Clients. The Clients folder inside of a My Cabinets folder on the C drive. Let's switch over to that folder in Windows Explorer so that you can see what's happening behind the scenes. Okay, here we are in Windows Explorer and as you can see we've got our C drive, a My Cabinets folder, and a Clients folder inside of there. And now look what's happening inside of the Clients folder. We have this list of names that are showing up as drawers in File Center. And that's the way a File Center cabinet works. A cabinet has a directory associated with it. In this case, it's the client's directory. And the first level of folders inside of that directory is going to appear in File Center as drawers. But again, understand that those are regular Windows folders that are being displayed in a different way in File Center. In fact, to drive this point home, let's rename one of these drawers. For example, let's take this Robert Johnson drawer and let's change this to uh, Bob Johnson. Now if we switch back to File Center, you can see that it's been renamed inside of File Center. File Center is showing the same directory, the same folders, just doing it in a different way. In a, in a drawer, folders, files paradigm. In fact, let's switch back to Windows Explorer and take a look at the Jeff Adams folder. And you can see that it has exactly the same contents as we're seeing inside of File Center. Now there are some very important implications that stem from this. First of all, you should understand now that any folder on your computer or on a network drive can potentially be viewed as a cabinet inside a File Center. And we'll take a look at that shortly. This also means that if you ever stop using File Center, your files will be completely unaffected. You'll still have complete access to them. And finally, this means that other programs also have access to those files. For example, synchronization software for your cloud drive or backup software has total access to those files. It's really a great way to work with your files in a more convenient layout inside a File Center without affecting your access to them or any other program's access to those files. Let's shift gears now and create a new cabinet so that you can see how that works. We're going to come up here to the drop arrow under Cabinets and select Add Cabinet. Now we're just going to do a little test cabinet so you can see the effect that adding drawers and folders has. Let's just call this Test Cabinet. Now, every cabinet needs a location. This is going to be the folder where all of the cabinets, drawers, and folders, and files are placed. I'm going to select Use Default Location, which by default is going to put it out on my C drive in the My Cabinets folder, and it's going to create a folder called Test Cabinet, and then the drawers and folders are going to be created inside of there. We'll say OK, and there we go. We now have an empty cabinet called Test Cabinet. Now let's create a couple of drawers for this cabinet. To create a drawer, we go to this Drawers Action button above the list of where the drawers will go, and we select New Drawer. And we'll create a couple of these. Okay, three drawers. Now let's switch over to Windows Explorer and see what's happened on the back end. Okay, here in Windows Explorer you can see that on my C drive in the My Cabinets folder we've got a new folder called Test Cabinet. And if I select that, it's got three directories in it. 
one for each one of those drawers we just created in File Center. Now let's switch back to File Center and add some folders to these drawers. To add a folder, you use the Folders Action button here where the list of folders would go. Now, notice here I can, I've, I've got a folder selected. I've got a couple of options. I can add a new folder or a new top-level folder. Let's show you what each of those do. The new folder is going to create a folder inside of whatever folder is selected. So I have this top folder selected. I created a new folder. It put it inside. If I select this one and create a new folder, it'll put it inside of that one. But if I come back up here and select this one again and add a folder, it puts it inside of that one, parallel to this one right here. Now, what if I want to put another folder at this very top level right here? Well, that's where we've got this option, New Top Level Folder. And you notice that I put that at the very top, parallel with this other one. So once again, let's switch over to Windows Explorer and see what happened behind the scenes. Here we go. We've got these folders. I can drill down into these. In fact, let's go over here and expand it so you can see them over here on the side a little bit better. And there we go, all those folders that I created inside of this drawer, inside of drawer 3. So that helps you appreciate a little bit the beauty of file centers separating these drawers from folders. It makes it very easy to visualize what's going on as opposed to having to drill down through these complex trees inside of Windows Explorer. File Center gives you a much nicer, cleaner way to organize these drawers and folders and files. Now this begs the question, how do you get files into your cabinet? Again, remember that your cabinet is nothing more than regular Windows directories. Any file that you put in those directories is automatically going to show up in your cabinets. So if you're in Microsoft Word and you save a file into one of those folders, it's going to show up inside a file center in the appropriate drawer folder. You can also drag and drop files directly into file center. You can use the scan button to scan files directly into whatever folder is selected. And you can also reorganize files into a cabinet using some special tools in file center like the split view and the inbox. That's great if you're doing a lot of reorganization. You may want to take a look at those tutorials to see how to move files into File Center from outside. Now I mentioned earlier that any folder on your computer can theoretically be viewed as a cabinet. Let's go ahead and set up a cabinet very quickly out of existing files. Now on my computer I have this folder right here. It's called Cases. And this has a list of the active cases that my law firm is currently working on. I want to turn this into a cabinet. Now, this begs the question, what folder do you use as the basis for your cabinet? Well, I look at these and I know that I want these to be the drawers in my cabinet. And so what I do is I pick the folder that those are in as the root of my cabinet or as the base folder of my cabinet, which in this case is this cases folder right here. See, I've got these folders that I want to have as drawers, so this folder right here will be the location for my cabinet. Let's switch over to File Center and make that cabinet. Now I just need to come up here to the drop arrow under the Cabinets button. I'm going to add a cabinet. Let's give this cabinet a name. Now the important thing here is the cabinet location. I'm going to set this location to that folder, that Cases folder. I could browse out to the location. I knew what it was, so I just typed it in. I'm going to click OK. And as soon as I click OK, there it is. That folder has been brought into File Center, and it's being shown as a cabinet now. File Center hasn't altered that folder in any way. It's simply showing it inside of its interface with a different layout than we see in Windows Explorer. But as you can see, each one of those folders that was in that Cases folder 
is now showing up in File Center as a drawer. File Center is giving it a really nice layout, a really nice presentation, and anything that I do inside of File Center now is going to show up inside of that folder structure. So hopefully now you understand that File Center cabinets are really just regular Windows folders, but presented in a much better way, giving you faster access to your files, and really a much more consistent layout. Be sure to catch the other videos in the cabinet series so you can learn how to share cabinets on the network and so that you can learn some of the advanced features of cabinets that will make it even easier for you to work with your files.